Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the problems you can get when you scan a book is it's this kind of thing where you've got down that gutter here, the pages haven't laid quite flat and you've got this rather nasty grey area. So the question is how can we get rid of that? Let's zoom in a bit and have a look at that. What you've got here is, is text going into this grey, but the key thing to notice, the text has got edges and the grey area here hasn't. So maybe you can do something with playing with edges. You get here as well, you get some of the distorting of this. You're not going to be able to fix that, but maybe we can get rid of the grey and make the whole thing a little bit better. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the original Control J to do a duplicate, turn off the bottom layer, and then go to Filters, Detect, and Detect Edges. And what we can see here is the blurry bit down here is pretty much lost because now it's appeared in white. The problem now, though, is the you've got an inside edge and an outside edge to the lettering. So I want to make it solid over here because so I want to turn this into a mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is blur it. So I'm just going to go to a Gaussian blur and turn up the radius until it's got rid of those inner ones. You can zoom into this if you like. See it's going from here where you can see the inside to there where it's gone solid. You can go further if you like as well, not too far because otherwise it's just going to fade. But remember this is about not about making it legible, it's about creating a mask. So what else can we do there is, if that's we're not sure about that, I mean, you could try it like that, but it might can help is to go to the levels. Now if I bring down the white here, See, it's going to make that whiter here, so that means the mask is going to be more effective. Yeah. This stuff down here, if you turn up the black, that's going to fade that off. But if you go back out again for a moment, you're going to watch out, out when you're pulling up the black that you don't lose these things here. Because if you, if I bring up here, see, I'm losing text. So I can only go as far as I can here without you know, focusing on that text. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to keep that in case I want to come back to it and do a layer merge visible. So I've just got a copy of this. I'm going to hide this now and close it down so I can always reuse that. And what I do if I want to keep a layer Something like that. I might leave it where it is. Sometimes I'll drag it underneath so it's just out the way. But we'll leave that here. So now I want to turn this into a mask. And I want to mask this layer underneath. So I'll turn the layer on underneath on the original. Because when I go to this one here, I right click it and say rasterize to mask. And bing, there you go. Look at the way that has picked that up. Because it's masking this underneath. If I can drag this down to the normal mask position on this layer. So I've got white behind, easy enough to fill that. So I say layer, new fill layer, it's coming in white. I can always change that, drag that underneath. And here you've got your picture again. You can play with this even a bit more. So I can go to here, for example, if I go to selective color and I go to the whites here and turn the black down, can tidy things up a bit. See around the image, the things here it is sort of a greyish shadow. By pulling the black down here, that just tidies that up a bit. If you want to make it a bit blacker again, then we can just put in the curves. And so we can, I can pull this, or well, actually you can see where this ends here. So I can just drag that across and see the way it's making that text blacker. Go all the way out on this, by the way, because you might be bringing in bits you don't want to be there. But you can pull that in, 
to make that look better. And anyway, that's it. I don't need this anymore, so I could get rid of it. But if I wanted to go back and change the mask, I've still got the way that I did it. That's it anyway, and thank you very much for watching.